September 1st, 1989. Dear diary, I believe I'm a good person, you know, I think that there's a good happy one, but um, here we are, first day of senior year, and uh, I'm one of these kids that I've known all my life, and I ask myself, what happened?
I'd like to be their boyfriend. That would be Thank you. 
thinking about us in the old days. I hope you can come to my homecoming party this weekend. Miss you, Ram. <gasps> Put an XO after the signature. What is this for anyway? I just found out that Ram used to hang with Martha Dump Truck. Well, <laughs> yeah, in kindergarten we all did. We all did a kiss on the kickball field. Oh, that's right, I remember. Ram kissed Martha Dump Truck. It was disgusting. Perfect. It'd be so righteous to be in the middle of a Heather Chandler, Veronica Sawyer sandwich. Hell oh, yeah, punch it in. Ralph! Be a sweetie and give this note to Martha. Don't talk for me. What? No. Since when did you talk to that, Florida? Oh, don't read it. She's having an extra heavy flow and wanted some advice from my gyno. Ew, bro! <laughs> What are you doing? Please don't do this, okay? No, not to Martha. What? You'll give her shower nozzle masturbation material for a week. Shut up, Heather! <laughs> Sorry, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Martha has had a thing for Graham for like 12 years now, okay? This, this would kill her. Are we gonna have a problem? <laughs> do you got a bone to pick? <laughs> You've come so far, why now are you pulling on my dick? <laughs> I got her to slap your face off. But I'm feeling nice. Here's some advice. Listen up, biatch! Jacket think he is anyway, go diddly. <laughs> <laughs> Veronica. Oh, 
ironic as any of his acts, no doubt. Let's kick his ass! <laughs> no, we're seniors, man. We're too old for that shit. Hey, sweetheart! What'd your boyfriend say when you told him you were moving to Sherwood, Ohio? <laughs> My buddy Kurt just asked you a question. Hey, Graham, doesn't the cafeteria have a no fags allowed rule? Seem to have an open door policy for assholes, though. <laughs> Hold his arms. Holy shit! 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 Okay, uh, 
great passe mom, but I got a motor if you want to be ready for this party. Don't let these popular girls change you. I need a What for? You have other friends. You have Martha. Maybe I want more out of life than liver worse, mom. <coughs> Those girls seem really nice. <laughs>
Dawn here and let's motor! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
crucified for this. Everyone at school is going to know good little Veronica is nothing but a dirty whore. Heather, why are you so determined to hurt me? Because I can. It'll be so scary. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't just stand there! Call 911! 
Heather. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, I just killed my best friend. And your worst enemy. Same difference. <laughs> Wait, the police are going to think that I did this on purpose. Oh my god, they're going to have to send my SAT scores to San Quentin. <laughs> Unless... Oh, look. She was reading the bell chart. <laughs> <laughs> Take her handwriting. Just make it sound deep, like this. I had pain in my path, like Sylvia Plath. My problems were myriad. I was having my period.
take these and pass them around now. They're refueling the buses, which gives us a solid half hour of healing. Now, I'm going to grab copies of the suicide notes so you all can feel Heather's anguish. I never knew about her pain. No. Her life had hit a rocky patch. We Me and 
Curtin Ram and Heather Duke came out to pour a jug of Thunderbird on Heather's grave, you know, from her homies. Uh. <laughs> but Curtin Ram drank it all. <laughs> no! And then Heather and Ram went off together and Kurt started grabbing me and he wouldn't stop. Uh. Wait, after everything that happened at Ram's party, why did you call me? Oh, well, that was the deal. If I got you to come, Kurt promised to leave me alone. <laughs> so, so you avoided date rape by volunteering me for date rape. <laughs> God, you make it sound ugly. <laughs> I'm leaving now.
makes me feel even worse. <laughs> Oh, hey guys, I'm still really looking forward to that apology for both of you for being two ice cold bitches last night. Um, uh, cleaning out Heather's locker, little respect. Uh, how about you two such a sad little poser? <laughs> Veronica, tell her to stop touching my stuff. Veronica! Veronica! Shut up, Heather! You shut up! I don't have to shut up anymore! <laughs> Shut up, Heather! I'm sorry, Heather. Heather Chandler is gone. It's up to me to replace her. Replace Heather Chandler? Please! You need to worry less about me and more about your reputation. Curtin Ram has been telling the whole school about your little freeway last night. Freeway? Oh. No, there was no freeway. Nothing happened. I remember differently. I seem to remember there was a big, big sword fight in her mouth. <laughs> Big sword fight in her mouth. It sure sounds crowded. And then we go with sound. And the legend or flood makes the law equal. They turn over like origami. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody wants sword fight in her mouth. Yes, we're going to sing when you're right in her mouth. I hope she brings sticks. We'll make them disappear We'll plant our goals 
Turned our town into a laughing stock. 
My boy Kurt isn't who I thought he was, and when I think was sick. Disgusting things that Kurt and Ram were doing. You wait just a minute, Paul. <laughs> it is ignorant, hateful talk like yours that makes this world a place that boys could not live in. They were not dirty. They were not wrong.
<laughs> Heather Duke? She's the one that started that three-way rumor. I've been underlining meaningful passages in her copy of Moby Dick, if you know what I mean. No! No, I do not accept this. We've already killed three people. This ends right here, right now. Or what? I'll... I'll break up with you. Any war is casualties. Doesn't mean it's not worth fighting. What? What? You, you, you'd rather go to jail? Hmm? And, and give a free pass to the thugs who hurt people? Evil fucks! that make life so unbearable that you can't stand to live in the world anymore. Jenny! How did your mother die? You really want to know? Yeah. My dad said it was an accident. But she knew what she was doing. She walked into that building two minutes before Dad blew it up. She waved at me out the window, and then, kaboom, she left me. I'm really sorry. I... It's okay. The pain gives me clarity. You and I are special. We have a lot of work to do. What oh, work? Making the world a decent place for people who are decent. When does it end? When every asshole is dead! Fine, we're damaged. Really damaged, but that does not make us wise. We're not special. We're not different. We don't choose who lives or dies. Let's be normal. See bad movies. Sneak a beer and watch TV. We'll bake brownies or go bowling. Don't you want a life with me? Can't we be seventeen? It's all I want to do. Or they 
look. You know exactly what he is, and you love it. Stop talking. Only a true dead best friend would give it to you straight. Veronica, I need your help. Sure. What? Something doesn't add up. I think Rand and Kurt were murdered. Well, fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Woo! <laughs> Suicide, oh, it could have been fake. You forged stuff all the time, right? I am in love with this fat girl. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Who'd want to kill Ram and Kurt? I'm thinking it was your friend JD. He saw the way he went after them in the lunchroom. Yeah, man, that sucked. There's something off about that JD. <laughs> Looks like Veronica's going to lady prison. Girl on girl. Punch it in! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, look, I had to hurt her, okay? If J.D. caught her going through his stuff, he would- Kill her? Is that what you're afraid of? I thought the Desperado hung up his six guns. Don't you trust him? I don't look here for right. Veronica, there you are. I need to grow the place for the assembly. Oh, oh right, this thing, Christ. Oh, I can't tell to the metal, come on now. Show the muscle. I'm kind of looking forward to this. Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast?
Is not 
from Moby Dick. I appreciate a well-read woman. What's in the envelope? Oh, crap. Just a tangible reminder that at one point at around age six, I'm guessing, you and Martha Dunstock were friends. Where'd you get these pictures? Did Veronica give them to you? What do you want, money?
trying to sign it in the dweebs and losers. I'm not signing that. Veronica, why are you pulling my dick? <laughs> it was your boyfriend's idea. Who, Jimmy? He made up the signature sheet and everything. Hold on. Look, I, I don't know what Jamie is up to, but if you know what's good for you, please just throw that away. <sighs> not a chance. I'll just fake your signature like I did with Martha Dump Truck. <clears throat> She's in no shape to sign anything today. Why not? It was on the radio. She took a belly flop off the old mill bridge last night, holding a suicide note. Oh my god. Oh, we just some broken bones. Just another geek trying to imitate the popular people and failing miserably. No, girl, keep it together. I knew you would come far. Now you're
not fight anymore, please. Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, oh, you're scared of me.
forgot to write my own suicide note. <laughs> Smart girl. Bring the trigger bomb out here to the football field and nobody dies. Except you. You keep holding on to that thing. I don't deserve to live. I respectfully disagree. Give it to me. Stay away from me. Or what? I am damaged. Far too damaged. But you're not beyond repair. Stick around here. Make things better. Because you beat me fair and square. Please stand back now. A little further. <laughs> Don't know what this thing will do. Hope you miss me. Wish you kiss me. Then you know I worship you. I'll trade my life for yours. Oh my God. Happy endings? I can't promise no more. 